So why does time only seem to run in one direction, when the basic laws of physics work almost exactly the same, backward as forward? If you could watch a perfectly detailed movie of atoms bouncing around and then play it in reverse, the reversed movie would still obey all the usual rules of motion. Yet, in daily life, shattered glasses do not leap off the floor and reassemble, spilled milk does not crawl back into the carton, and you remember birthdays that already happened, never ones still to come. That clash between reversible microscopic rules and irreversible everyday experience is the core mystery behind the arrow of time. The universe is not enforcing a law of decay. Instead, it is playing a numbers game. At the microscopic level, every molecule has a definite position and speed, but in practice, we ignore that detail and just talk about coarse properties like temperature and pressure, which together define a macro state. Each macro state can arise from many different microscopic arrangements, or microstates, and entropy is, roughly, a measure of how many microstates correspond to the macro state you named. Because of the equations of motion, simply shuffle microstates without caring about your description, systems almost always drift from rare, low-entropy macrostates to common, high-entropy ones, which makes disorder seem inevitable even though no law explicitly prefers it. If high-entropy states are so typical, what prevented the universe from being high-entropy both in the